Hey, this is Noel Powell with creationeffects.com and this is the updated tutorial for Creation VHS Effects, which is a huge collection of effects for making your footage look and sound like an old VHS tape in Adobe After Effects. So it's great for getting that nostalgic 80s and 90s feel for your videos, and it's also good at imitating really heavily damaged VHS tapes. I first released this template something like 13 years ago and it's, it's been used all over the place from Hollywood films to TV shows to music videos and uh, it's undergone a few updates uh, but I just finished a big update so I'm redoing the tutorial. Uh, it's a lot easier to use now. All the effects are just copy and paste now and uh, if you want my credentials I am a genuine Gen Xer who is I was practically raised by my VCR so I know this stuff. So a brief summary of what's inside before we begin. Uh, there are over 100 effects that you can just copy and paste to build your own unique VHS look. The effects are, are customizable with easy controls so you can adjust the look or intensity. Or if you don't want to mess with building your own VHS look, there are 11 unique presets which are finished VHS looks with varying degrees of damage uh, ranging from subtle to very heavy damage. And something you'll find handy is each preset also has a single control which controls the overall intensity of the VHS look. So you turn it down to get a more subtle look or turn it way up and you get something that's totally unwatchable. All right, so let's take a look at this. Uh, after you download the zip file, Mac users can just double click it to open it or in Windows, you can right click and choose the extract all option. And then you'll see two After Effects projects inside the folder. Uh, with this update, I've added a 4K version so you can drop your 4K footage into that and export in 4K. Um, or if you're working with vertical footage, it'll fit in that 4K project. And then you can just crop off the sides. I'm going to work in the HD version because it'll run faster and because both versions are going to pixelate your footage and make it look like standard definition. So it really doesn't matter. So I'll open that up in After Effects version 2020 or later. And you'll see some instructions here for getting started. This says uh, that our first step is to import our footage and put it into this comp here named your footage. So I'll go to file and import and get some old HD footage of my kids. And I'll just drag that file into the comp and that will let you preview all of the presets and all of the effects in the template with your footage. So before I show you how to build your own VHS look, I want to just spend a minute or two going over the presets. If we open the presets folder and open this preview comp, you can preview any of the presets. Uh, these ones that say subtle. I know that's not really that subtle, but they're less damaged than the others. And uh, we can turn down the damage if we want to. But when you find one of these that you like, you can double click the layer to open the comp or you can find the comps in here. So you can see how many layers and effects go into these, um, but just know that every effect can be customized uh, using the controls on the layers. You can see we have our, our footage layer with no effects at the very bottom. If we want to mess up the audio in our footage, uh, we can unmute this layer here and then mute our original audio. And we have a couple audio effects here, like some VHS hum. And then all these layers above that are video effects, which we'll look at more closely in a moment. At the very top is an instructions layer, which we can unhide for more information about this preset. Also note that we have layer comments and layer marker notes with information about the individual effects, if we want to learn more. Uh, you don't have to read it if you don't want to. And below the instructions is our control layer. And on that layer, if we look in our effect controls panel, you'll see an intensity control where we can control the amount of damage. And uh, we could keyframe that if we wanted to. Um, so this affects all the layers together. Or we can also turn on or off all the effects at once with this checkbox. And then this random seed control will allow us to get new random results on all the effects that have random properties. So it affects a lot of the, the warping effects as well as the timing of effects that flicker on and off. So you could play with the overall intensity or uh, any of the individual effects down here. And when it looks like beautiful garbage, you can just set your out point and render it. 
All right, let's go over how to build your own unique VHS tape look. Uh, you can do that in this comp named Main Comp, add your effects here. We've got our footage in here at the bottom, and then there are already some basic effects in here to get you started, uh, these yellow layers. You don't have to use these, you can delete any of them if you want. And uh, we also have an audio effect in here, some VHS hum. Uh, at the top, we've got some instructions you can unhide and our control layer, which will affect any effect that we copy and paste into this comp. And, and that's something to remember, there needs to be a control layer in every comp that you put your effects in or you'll get an error message. All right, let's add some effects. I'll open this copy and paste effects folder. All the effects in the template are in here and they're separated by audio, transitions, TV static, and video effects. The good stuff's in here in video effects, so I'll open that up and I'll hide my instructions. And we can just unhide any of these yellow layers to preview the effect with our footage. These are all based on actual artifacts from damaged VHS tapes that I came across while researching for the project. So it's all very authentic looking. And uh, all of these can be customized. So you just select a layer. And then in the effect controls panel, you've got a bunch of controls for adjusting the properties of the effect. When you find ones you like, you just select them and copy them and go back to your main comp and paste them somewhere above your footage. Uh, the ones at the bottom are applied first and then the effects on top are applied last. So like the TV screen effects, those would be at the very top. Screen curvature, interlacing, scan lines. Let me go back to our video effects comp and I'll show you a feature that you'll see on a lot of the effects all over the template. It's these auto on off blinking controls. Uh, these controls allow you to make effects turn on and off randomly. So these on and off values are in seconds. And uh, so you could use low decimal numbers on these and the effect will quickly but randomly flicker on and off within the time boundaries that you set. I'll scroll down a bit. Uh, after the yellow layers, we've got some different colored layers. These are effects that are too complex to fit on a single layer. So they're on multiple layers and they're grouped by color. At the top of each group is a control layer which has the controls for customizing that effect. So to preview these, uh, just look at the comments here. They tell you which layers to keep hidden. So for this bottom warp and static effect, we show this layer and this layer and uh, this displacement map layer can stay hidden. And then if we want to customize this, uh, we go to the control layer for this effect, and we've got a bunch of options. And then to copy and paste this effect into our comp, uh, we want to keep the layers in order. So select the top layer first, and then hold down shift and select the bottom layer and copy them. And then when we paste them, they'll be in the same order. But we're not quite done yet. These effects that use multiple layers, they usually have one more step. And uh, you can read the instructions in this layer marker here. And that looks like a lot, but I was just being thorough. It's actually really easy. And if we look at our, our cheat sheet, our layer comments, it says right here, set map layer. So on this layer, we just need to set the map layer. So we'll go to this layers effects and it says it again right here, set this to the displacement map layer. Our displacement map layer is this one. And I'll set the map layer to that layer. And now our warping effect is looking at this map layer to determine what areas to warp on your footage. And, uh, and this should automatically say effects and masks. That's what we want. So this is working now and we can go back and find more effects if we want. Uh, there's a few here I should show you really quick. At the very bottom, we have a color channel split effect or color bleed, pretty common for any VHS look. Uh, these layers have three copies of your footage split into three color channels. So if you use these, uh, they should always be at the bottom of your comp because they actually replace the other footage layer at the bottom. Um, we have a TV screen effect here. It puts all the layers underneath onto this TV screen and uh, you can animate the position and scale of the TV using the controls on the control layer. There are three versions of this static and warp effect. These put TV static at the areas that are warped, which is what you would see in a lot of damaged VHS tapes. 
Uh, these actually have three different settings that you have to set after you copy and paste the layers. And uh, they have to be done in the right order. So just be sure to read the instructions um, or the effects won't work right. And the last one I'll show you is this fast forward or rewind effect. Uh, be sure to unmute the chipmunk audio to get the full effect. On the control layer, we can choose whether we want a fast forward symbol or a rewind symbol. And you'll need to keyframe this checkbox to make the effects turn on when you want it to start and then turn off. And notice how your footage isn't actually being sped up uh, while the effects are on. You'll need to do that manually uh, with a time remapping effect on your footage layer. If you're not familiar with that, it's not real hard, uh, but you can easily find a tutorial on time remapping uh, on YouTube. All right, we did video effects, so let's take a look at the audio effects now. Uh, there's a bunch of white noise and TV static sounds in here and VHS hum. Uh, just copy and paste the layers to your comp. These have auto blinking controls as well. I called them audio dropout controls uh, if you want the audio to cut in and out. And then this top layer, your audio with effects. Uh, this is your footage, but with audio filters on it. So there are four audio effects here, and you can turn on any of them with the checkboxes and then customize them with the controls. Okay, onto the TV static. Uh, not a lot to say about these. Most of these are recordings of various kinds of static and VCR tracking. Uh, just copy and paste them over your footage. All right, the transition effects comp has 17 transition effects that you can just copy and paste over the cuts in your edited footage. You can see the layers are grouped by color and they're arranged in sequence like this so that you can just play back the comp and preview them all over your footage. Most of these are just a simple copy and paste, um, but a few of them you have to set the displacement map layer or something similar uh, like I showed you. So just pay attention to the layer comments here and uh, let me show you real quick what to do with these. Again, I'll select the top layer of my group first and then shift select the bottom. And I'll copy and paste those to this example comp where I have a couple clips edited together. And what you wanna do is just drag these over so that the layer marker lines up with the cut in your footage. And these transitions are not connected to uh, the main control layer, unlike the other effects. And uh, most of these don't have customization controls either. It's all just done with effects and keyframes. So you can hit the, the U key, the shortcut to reveal the keyframes and edit these if you want to. And that's about it. So this template is one way to destroy your footage. Um, I've got a similar one called Creation Film Effects for imitating old or damaged film. It's very authentic looking and, and it has 40 unique film look presets. There's also Creation Glitch Effects, which is the digital glitch version of this template. It features a huge variety of custom glitch effects for Adobe After Effects. And one other popular template that transforms your footage is Creation Artifacts for turning footage into animated artwork in a variety of, of artistic mediums. So you can find those and a lot more at creationeffects.com.